Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Friends of the Feather. Look at Fergus. Isn't he so handsome? He got brushed yesterday. Didn't you, Fergie? He hates it. Don't you, Fergus? Yeah, uh, just, um, <clears throat> this is the bag of fur that I got from Fergus. This is, this is how much shed I got off of him, and, and I'm not done yet. I, I still have to go back. I try to do it in, in phases because he gets really, really anxious and touchy and nippy and weird when I brush him for too long. Gracie, now, I never have to worry about her. I could brush her every day, all day. She would be like, please, more, please. Can we add more hours to the day in order for me to have more time to be brushed? She loves it. But Fergus, no. He does not like it at all. He was a very sad boy yesterday because I wasn't having it. <clears throat> he looks absolutely horrible when he's not brushed. He looks like the ragamuffin dog and like a street dog. No, he's not a street dog. He's an upper class fine canine and he's not going to look like a scruff mutt. So Fergus gets uh, tied down and Fergus gets brushed. Also, because of that, like if it rains and because they're not that smart sometimes, <clears throat> they stand out in the rain and they have like a hundred different types of fur. So um, it gets matted really bad and then he's in pain because his, his skin is being pulled. So um, that's the other reason that he, he has to be brushed because he'll stand out in the rain like an idiot. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you to our 143 best friends. I do so appreciate it. Please become one of our best friends. We're friendly folk, aren't we chickens? Unless you're a Salmon Faberle, then they are not friendly. So, Salmon Faberle's <coughs> cannot subscribe to the channel because they will be literally henpecked bloody. So, yeah. You're not allowed you're not allowed to uh, subscribe <coughs> if you're if you're a salmon favorel. You know, if you could stand on that brick and if we could get Oswald on this brick and we could just have like a, a, a crow off, that would be cool. That would be cool. Okay, now, now you're doing it. Now he's doing the pimp walk. I don't know if you saw that or not, but he was doing the pimp walk around Parabola. That's funny. Funny, funny chickens. You know, I was thinking earlier as I was grabbing the key to come down here that one of the cool things about having chickens, and you can share this with your friends because it's true, it's universal. Having chickens is really cool because every day you get to go on an egg hunt. So every day is like Easter. You get to go on an Easter egg hunt every day. It's a little cheaty for us though because we know where the eggs are. They put them in the same place. Oh. So yeah, we, we cheat a little bit with our uh, with our prior knowledge of location of egg, but you know, you get your little basket. That's right. You get to go collect your eggs. Yeah yeah yeah. So I, I tell you what, guys. There some are some exciting things going on in the background right now. Very 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 exciting things, and I so so want to tell you what's going on. But I can't. But it's good. It's really, really good. So you need to subscribe. You need to follow along because it, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be really, really cool. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second. I need to unlock, unlock it. I know, Chip. Come running up like it's something really exciting. You know it is. So exciting to unlock the door. So exciting. So, let's see what we get this morning. I heard the egg song. So that's probably good news. Hopefully there's no quails running about, as uh, has happened before. We've had quail breaks in the past. I took out some of their rocks because it, I felt like uh, they, had, they had matured to the point where we didn't have to worry about the rocks anymore. Still no eggs. I don't think there will be eggs, guys. I'm telling you. <sighs> we got lots of boys in there. Lots of boys. All right. Let's see what we have today. 
There's our basky. Oh, we've got one chicken. We've got one of the Beanstalk brothers nesting up right now. Uh, that looks like why well, fought no mofo mofo or jack one or the other i think that's jack if i'm honest if i'm honest i don't see any in the first box i don't see any in the second box falco is eyeballing things down here look at me falco <laughs> she's nesting she's pulling straw over from the other box that's pretty cool Chickens are cool. I don't see any rogue eggs on the ground. That's good. I don't like that trend. Because I don't like playing Twister to get under there. Come on. Come on, girly. Come on, beautiful girl. My beautiful Dominecker girl. Beautiful Dominecker girl. Alright. Nope. Nope. No, curtain number three is a zonk. Womp womp. What do you think, girls? Oh, I know. I'm skeptical, too. <clears throat> Hi, girls. Let's chat. How you doing, Falky Balky? Oh, There's no need to be like that. Silly girls. See, Faddle just doesn't like any kind of loving. Oh, gracious. They're circling. They're, uh, they're starting to close in on us. They're starting to close in. What's going on? See, this is either... Yeah. God, do they not sound like raptors? I swear they sound like dinosaurs. What's up, big boy? Oh, gracious. Hey, now. No, no, no. No, no, no. There's the big boy. Battle is very skeptical. Look at that comb. Gracious, isn't it grand? It is just something to behold. What's up, big boy? Boop, 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 boop. Look at that thing. Look at it. It's just gigantic, I say. And there's beautiful Felicity. Beautiful girls. What's up, Parabola? Parabola-abola. <laughs> you have a very grand comb, sir. Oh, it is just so lovely. Yes, it's so grand. I'm just waiting for him to start pecking the crap out of my hands. Yeah. got such a strange texture. It's like... Oh, sorry. The other chicken scared him. All right. So here we are. Playing with the, uh, the fleshy parts of my chickens. <laughs> Do you hear that? That's the male call. That's the, that's the button quail call. That beep, beep, beep. That's it. And if you listen carefully, they might start doing it again. <laughs> Hang with me while I stroke my cock. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Straighten up. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's been a good day, you guys. All right. I'm going to continue to uh, fondle my chickens. As, as long as they'll let me. <laughs> oh, I, I try not to force myself on them. Right, Felicity? Yep, Felicity doesn't like it, and I know it. I just can't help it sometimes. 
The girl can't help it. She loves hens. All right, enough, enough, enough. Goodbye, Beanstalk Brothers. I see no eggs. I don't think Jack's got anything for me. Oh, but there's Falky Balky in a nest. Holy crap, I hope I can verify that Falco is, in fact, laying eggs. Because, oh, and here she comes right back out. Can you believe that giant, gigantic Condor S gets in those boxes? I just didn't think they would fit. But they're fitting nicely. Oh, Oh, there she goes up again. She's looking. She's assessing the, the situation. Getting a look at things. I'm really interested to see if there's an egg under Jack. I'm pretty sure there is. I feel like I'm in the Amazon jungle when they make noises like that. I really do. <laughs> All right, guys. She's not ready to get off her nest. I don't mess with them when they're nesting. I tried to pet one of them the other day when they were on the nest, and they made a noise that did not sound friendly. It was kind of like a GTFO out of my face kind of noise, so I, I did get out of their face because I don't like to I don't like to mess with the 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 cogs that are the wheels of the egg factory. You girls do your thing. I will observe from afar. Not so silently. All right, everybody. This is just this is just madness. It's gone on long enough. I'm gonna try to see if you if you're slow and cautious, you can catch the buttons when they're commiserating. But then, as soon as you start to walk over there, watch they'll run away, run away, run away. They just don't seem to understand that I'm not going to hurt them. But they are convinced. Especially that one little black and white one. Skittish, skittish, skittish. I think, if I recall, that's the one that almost met Jaws of the Hound Dog. So, I get it, little, I get it, little bird. I understand. Alright, everyone. Have a great day. Have a good Sunday. It's chicken in a tune Sunday, but I haven't... I have I don't know I don't know what to say. Oh, but this evening I will tell you my tragic rush story. I'll tell you all about it. So tune in for that. Thanks again. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See ya. Bye bye.